Hey guys, Original Boris here, back again for another movie review. Uh, today, uh, the movie I am going to review is uh, Frailty. This movie stars uh, Bill Paxton and Matthew McConaughey. Uh, made in 2001, and it is 99 minutes long. Uh, this movie is about a single father in the 70s. He's raising two young boys. Uh, their mother passed away when they were uh, younger, and uh, he's left alone to take care of them. Um, one day, the father wakes up the boys while they're in bed, and he tells them a crazy story how he saw an angel, and uh, the angel told him that uh, there's a lot of demons wandering around the earth, and it is his job and his two sons' jobs to uh, try to eliminate these uh, demons. Uh, he tells his son that God is going to provide them with uh, three weapons for them to be able to uh, fight off these demons and uh, get rid of them from the earth. And uh, slowly, he start these weapons uh, start to appear. Uh, he's got an axe, a pair of gloves, and a uh, piece of uh, piping. And those are the weapons that uh, God has sent down to him. And those are the weapons that he must use. No other weapons, just those three. Um, to kill off these demons that are wandering the earth. Um, one of his sons is having a hard time believing him. He thinks that his dad is crazy and is a, is a serial killer and uh, wants nothing to do with it. The younger boy claims also that he also sees angels and that he is doing what his father asked of him to do. Uh, the movie just starts off where uh, it's actually Matthew McConaughey as an adult and he walks into a FBI uh, building and he asked to speak to an FBI agent and then that's where he starts telling the story about when he was a child in the 70s and talks about his father who became a killer and his brother and and him and just their upbringing and, upbringing and uh, just that way of life how uh, they went from having innocent childhoods all of a sudden to being killers and um, it, it gets uh, it does get pretty interesting uh, he uh, says that God's going to give him a list and one day he wakes up and he just uh, starts scribbling names down on a piece of paper and those are the people that uh, he has to uh, he has to kill off because God says so and they drive around to the different addresses and uh, find find these people kidnap them and kill them uh, they kidnap people in the middle of the day and uh, he says not to worry about it because God will blind every, the, every witness's eyes so that they won't get caught um, one of the kids starts rebelling, so his dad ends up punishing him uh, until he decides to join his father. And uh, you know, I remember watching this movie in the movie theater when it first came out, and I thought it was really good back then. I remember buying the DVD when it first came out back in 01, and I had probably not watched it since 01. I was looking through my movie collection, uh, trying to decide what I wanted to watch, and uh, I saw this one. I remembered little about it, so I decided to watch it again. It's been about 10 years since I've seen it. And uh, just like I enjoyed it the first time I watched it at the movie theater, I enjoyed it this time that I watched it. Uh, very good movie. Um, very interesting storyline. Um, original storyline. Uh, well done. And uh, it's pretty good. So check it out right there. Matthew McConaughey, Bill Paxton. Good movie about a serial killer with a uh, religious side to it. So, there you go. Uh, they call him the God's Hand Killer. But, check it out. I do recommend this. Uh, let me know what you think. And uh, watch it. So, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more. Bye.